Today we're diving into the world of mesh wired backhaul. Now I know what you're thinking, wired? Yeah, that sounds pretty boring, but let me tell you, this is going to be pretty exciting to get the most out of your mesh system. This is episode four in our home networking series. If you've missed previous episodes, definitely go take a look at that. I will have a link below in the description of that playlist and go through all the different things that we've talked about for beginners to set up their home network. Now, like with all the other videos in this series, leave your questions down below. I will do my best to get to them. And if it's something that deserves a video, I will make another video talking about that topic. Also, don't forget to subscribe because following up this network series, we are going to be building out a smart home using the new Matter protocol. It's a new language that devices are gonna be using to communicate with each other, keeping everything locally in your home, making everything work faster. I'm gonna do a full build out and a series on that. So don't forget to subscribe so you are aware of that happening. First, let's start with the basics. A mesh Wi-Fi wired backhaul is kind of just a fancy way of saying that you are connecting all of your devices through a wired connection. This might seem kind of old school, but it's actually a nice, reliable way for your connection to be stable and reliable. But what about the backhaul parts? The backhaul is the backbone of your home network, the part that connects all the nodes together. In a wired backhaul system, the connections are connected through ethernet instead of wirelessly. Now I know what you're thinking, ethernet cables, that is so old school, but hear me out. When it comes to creating a fast, reliable network, wiring is definitely gonna be the way to go. With a wired backhaul system, your Wi-Fi network can transmit data at lightning fast speeds without interference from other pesky devices. All right, I have the deco set up in the far corner of my house. The farthest away we'd get, I mean, my house isn't very big, but if we take a look here at the app, we see signal strength to the main router is medium. So it has dropped, it used to say strong, and now it says medium, but let's go ahead and do a speed test and see what kind of signal we're getting. All right, 115 down, 64 up. I pay for a thousand up and a thousand down. That is not good. So what are the benefits of using a wired backhaul? Well, for starters, you're gonna get a more stable and reliable connection, which means you'll experience fewer drops and delays. Plus, because the backhaul is wired, you won't have to worry about interference from other devices like your neighbor's Wi-Fi or somebody using the microwave. With all the interference that you're gonna be getting from outside your home and inside your home, it is really going to affect the strength and reliability that you're going to be getting from your wireless backhaul. So being able to plug in that wire, getting a wired backhaul is really going to provide a strong, fast, and reliable signal. And speaking of reliable, let's talk about this video sponsor. I have a CVPN and their award-winning lightning fast service. With their service, you can connect up to 10 different devices have access to over 5,700 servers across the globe. All of this for an incredibly low price. They even have a special going on right now that if you sign up for a five year commitment, you can get the service for a dollar a month. Now all plans are going to unlock Disney Plus, Hulu, and over seven different Netflix regions. So if you're interested in protecting yourself online, sign up in the link in the description. Now there's a good chance that you don't have ethernet ports around your house. So Wi-Fi is just the simpler and easier way to go but there's a really good chance that you probably have coax cable in each room of your house. This is the cable they use to get cable TV service into your house. Well, did you know that you could actually transfer data over those cables? You can buy a pair of Mocha devices like this. One you're gonna put on your modem side where your switch is and the other side you'll put in that bedroom. You can then connect ethernet cables into that giving you an ethernet connection in that room where you can plug your mesh satellite into to get a better, stronger signal. Now with the TP-Link Deco system that I'm using, setting up a wire backhaul is completely plug and play. Once you plug that cable in, give it a couple of minutes, it'll detect that it is a wire backhaul and it'll automatically make that connection. Now with that said, let's go ahead and test out the speeds that we're getting now. If we take a look in the app here, we can see the connection between these two it shows a Wi-Fi symbol. So it shows a very weak Wi-Fi signal right here. I have now plugged in the ethernet backhaul into the back of my device right here. So it's going to take a minute or so, but this Wi-Fi signal here in the back should actually change to a different symbol indicating that it now has a wired backhaul connection. All right, there we go. I now have a wired backhaul connection with these two devices right here. Let's go ahead and test out the speed. 
All right, here we go. High hopes. Oh yeah, there we go. So looking at over five times faster, just having this cable plugged into the network and getting incredible speed from this thing. So there you have it folks, a wire backhaul may not be the most exciting thing out there, but it's a seriously efficient way to get the best speeds and reliability out of your home network system. I'd like to thank everybody who made it this far in the video, I do truly appreciate that. In next week's video, we're gonna be talking about five ways to boost your Wi-Fi signal. Going through all those, hopefully helping you get a better, faster, more reliable signal out of your Wi-Fi router. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you guys in the next video.